YouTube. What's up? Today I'm going to do a wiring tutorial for you guys uh, using parts from Custom Saber Shop. I've seen a lot of videos, uh, I've done a lot of research trying to figure out the best way to go about this. The best one I found was actually um, kind of stealing this from Pet Paparazzi Guy. You can look him up and he's got some good videos on this also if this is the route you want to take. Uh, this is my first Saber and uh, I wanted to make sure I did it right. So I got everything pre-wired um, and the way I'm going to do this video is I'm going to do it in probably three parts. This first part I'll show you the exact uh, inventory of what I got. That way you can just watch this, write it down, uh, stupid simple, order the stuff and you can go about it like I'm going about it. Um, so with all that said, we can jump into it and I'll just start calling them out. It's a 2 watt 20 millimeter speaker. Uh, I got a smaller speaker because I'm actually doing my own uh, homemade hilt and uh, it's either three quarter or one inch pipe but I wanted to make sure everything I got fit inside of it. Um, so everything I got is kind of short or small but I'll explain it as I go down. It's a 2 watt 20 uh, millimeter speaker. Next up 16 millimeter anti-vandal short momentary switch. It's short, shorter than normal. Um, this little ring lights up green and it's got a switch function, press it, activate. Um, next, Rebel Star LED version one. That's gonna be green, LED version one, uh, heat sink module. That's gonna be the copper part right there. All right, uh, recharge port. Recharge port with kill plug. That's your kill plug right there. That's gonna be style Three, I believe yeah style three um, with the curvature for the hilt fits on there flush put it in there it's gonna save save your battery life um, take it out you can use your saver so recharge port with kill plug uh, nano biscotti with SD card pre-wired all this came how it is I didn't have to do any soldering on that just like I said I wanted to make it super easy for myself so uh, Nano Biscotti with SD card. I think this is like version 4. It's the newest one they had. Uh, the only option I think it was that they had. Uh, so next up 3.7 1400 milliamp lithium ion battery. This is going to be a shorter battery than normal. Um, so it could fit in my hilt easier. You can always upgrade any of this stuff. Uh, I can go back and get a bigger speaker which I probably will at some point. Um, get a more premium speaker. Um, I got these resistors. I believe this one, get the focus. Okay, not gonna work. Um, resistor, I believe this is the 390 ohm quarter watt resistor. They sent these to me and they didn't label them, so I'm kind of gonna just go with it, but I believe that's the 390 ohm quarter watt resistor. That's gonna go with the switch. I'm going to solder this in here with the switch. This resistor is going to be the 0.47 ohm uh, half watt resistor. That's going to go on, it's going to go off the Rebel Star. Um, and then I got these, these extra wires with JSTs. Everything comes with the JSTs, just makes it easier. Clip them together. Um, I'll actually show you just real quick. That's how they work. You got female, okay, open, open on the inside is female, male goes on the inside, kind of self-explanatory. So you can just line them up and it goes in there like that. Snaps in, easy. Um, but that's not the ones that go together. Just showing you an example. So uh, the wires I used um, is I got one female blue and white one female blue and white one no I'm sorry three red and black male so there's one and I just lost it behind the nightstand two and three then I got two male yellows this is going to be one of them. 
And then this is gonna be the other. Um, I've already soldered a couple things on here, like the speaker and the switch, because I want to make sure my soundboard worked. So I just wired those two, go ahead and plugged them in, and did the battery and the recharge port, turned it on just to see if it worked. Um, I'll explain all that a little bit later though. So uh, next is a female red and black, just one. It's this one. And then female green, which is on the speaker right there. Female JST green. All right, so that's it for what I bought. That's everything I bought. And the plan is to, I'm going to have to do a Y splice, which is, like I said, Pet Paparazzi Guy has a tutorial on that also, but I'm going to show you how I do it because there were a few things that I didn't really understand. But so that's what the extra wires are for, or for extensions and the Y splice I'm going to have to do. But basically kind of how this goes is it's all color coded. So it'll be yellow, yellow. Speaker will be green, green. Um, the battery goes into the recharge port. I'll just go ahead and put some of this together real quick. Cause this is how I did it to activate it. Okay. And black, black and red, black and red from the nano to the recharge port. This is why it helps to have color wires. If you can get them all right. I actually had to order one more red and black wire because they didn't have a blue and white. So that's going to be the only different color wire I have, but it doesn't matter as long as it's a uh, male or female, if you get that right. So then I'll put the green and green speaker to the Nano. All right. And then the switch. And normally, uh, I would be able to show you it come on and make the noise, but obviously my solder came off right here. Um, I didn't, I haven't got heat shrink yet. That's what I'm waiting on before I solder this together. Um, so, and the reason the resistor's not on there right now is because I only soldered for the switch function, which just means when you press this in, it turns it on. There's no like LED or nothing. So the switch function which is going to be, you can't see right now, but it's going to be these two prongs right here. That's for the switch function. There's a green dot right there. You can see to kind of help you. This is a switch function. So you can, that's why I could turn everything on and hear it. Um, but to do the lights, there's a negative and positive under these prongs, the top and bottom. That's going to be your LED for the switch. So that's what the resistor is going to be for, is for that light. That's why you got to have a resistor for the Rebel Star also. For the LED lights, that's what the resistor is for because it helps resist flow. Current is essentially my understanding. So this is broke. I'm not going to be able to show you. Um, but in this next part, I'm going to go ahead and solder the things together. Um, heat shrink it probably and then I'll come back spread it all out and show you exactly how it is together and um, that's gonna be it for this part